Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you. As you can tell by the title, had a little uh, item customized and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, as y'all all know, I love the CZ Shadow 2, one of my favorite pistols. And I have wanted to shoot it in carry optics, however, it wouldn't make the weight because your weight is 45 ounces and that's in the States, not in Canada or other places. That's our rules for USPSA carry optics in the United States. So what I wanted to do, and I've been shooting my CZ uh, P10F, and I love the pistol, nothing wrong with it, but I've been wanting to get my shadows done up to where they would meet the optic weight or meet the carry optic weight, and I love the pistols, so that's what I wanted to do. So I actually got with the company, Fire for Effect. If you haven't heard of them, they're in El Paso, Texas, and of course I'm a Texas guy. Wanted to stay somewhere local and uh, have the work done. So I kind of got to customize it, say what I wanted to say, kind of get ideas. We kicked around stuff and we came up with something really sweet. Uh, if you've been following me on Instagram, I've kind of been doing some hints, showing some stuff and giving people ideas of what they do. Um, really nice guys. Got to meet, meet them and spend some time with them and uh, kind of look at their operation and it's really really nice i mean the floor in this place is so clean you could eat off of it the people are so genuinely nice i mean it, it was just a great experience so i wanted to show you what we came up with this is the cz shadow 2 uh, this is one of my personal pistols and i wanted kind of a little crazy got to add that and the big johnson flare to it um, but this is what we came up with and i think that it is truly a gem and man it's like a one-off you'll probably never see another one like this but here's what we came up with so it does meet carry optic weight just so you know the weight of this pistol with this magazine in it and it's got the thick um, springer precision however it doesn't add rounds it's just the heavy base plate this one comes in at 43.8 ounces as you see it 43.8 ounces so i'm definitely under the 45 ounces but i wanted to show you everything on it so, with no further ado, here it is. So, this thing is totally awesome. Um, as you see, I have my lock palm swell grips on here. These are my lock grips. Also, the lock grip uh, mag release here. And it does have the SRO on it. And it is a low milled. I mean, this thing is low. I'm going to show you up close. Look at the way that it's milled in there. Try to get you a good picture of it. Well, let's see here. There it is right there. You can see my eye in the gap. I mean, it is super close. He actually cuts a little notch out for the overhang. So this thing is super low. You'll notice another thing. C CZ Stai Diva. That actually means Shadow 2 in Czech Republic, or in Czech. It does say nine millimeter here here it says fire for effect and it says for carry optics legal he actually puts that in there and their emblem is right back here on the back but it does have the battle worn finish see how it has the battle wear here and here and there there and of course right there but it's kind of like a sanded look. You can see here where he broke it up. And he mills from here, you know, these three ports. And where your slide is captured in there, he actually mills some under there. So really you could just send in your slide and all the work can be done to the slide. Uh, on this one, it does not have the barrel bushing, but this one does have the apex hammer and trigger kit and it's awesome matter of fact they were actually even impressed with it but uh, and I do have the extended safety because I like to ride it like a shelf like a 1911 I'll put my thumb on it and ride it but this is the 2.5 SRO I love the field of view and we actually did keep the front sight on here and I have not I'll be straight up honest with you uh, I broke my toe <laughs> and uh, did some damage to myself. So I have not been able to go and dial it in yet. This is kind of a first impressions and I wanted to share with y'all in case you're looking at work to be done. These guys do a fabulous job. Um, super, super impressed. 
I mean, I can't say enough about them. But, uh, and you'll see he put the black in here for me. I mean, this is really kind of a one-off gun. Has a very unique look. Kind of like a, uh, you know, space kind of thing. Uh, maybe like a, what is that called? Uh, you know, level nine or whatever, you know, like a space type gun. And these Springer Precision, you know, these base plates are the weighted base plates, but they're not the extended that actually add rounds. But being at 43.8 ounces, I probably have some some uh, give in there to add. Uh, but man, look at that SRO. The way he milled it is just unbelievable. I mean, that thing is so low. And if you want to check out a picture of it on Instagram, I've got it on there. But see the two screws here? There's two screws here. You actually remove those two screws. You take this unit off. And then you have two um, kind of like... They're milled into your slide, but they actually pull out. So and he has to actually uh, laser etch those because they are only matched to your slide. And actually under this optic, he laser etched Big Johnson. So it's actually Big Johnson. It says it right under this optic on the slide. So I was super impressed with that. And I've got a picture of it on Instagram if you want to check it out. But can't say enough about the work that they've done. Super, super impressed. This is not the only pistol I had done. So there's more to come. And then I've got the uh, Tactical Panda, his little 3D printed, and the guys actually trimmed it here and trimmed it here. So it actually snaps down over the slide. Let you see it there. And I'm not gonna pistol wave myself, but I'll let you see it there. But, uh, and that just snaps on when you're not using it. So again, super impressed with this. If you're thinking about having yours done, please by all means do. I don't think you will be let down on this. Um, I mean, this thing is awesome. To rack it, you know, you can just grab it back here or you can grab it here. Now here it is, it's it's a little sharp, but you can rack it, you know, just like that. It doesn't cut your hands, but it's definitely aggressive up here with the little serrations. I'll kind of show you close, but very aggressive serrations up there. But they're not, they won't stab you. They're just aggressive. He actually smooths them off just a little bit. But this thing is a beast. I mean, I'm so, so happy to have it. But we will get it dialed in. And I will start shooting the Shadow CZ2, or Shadow 2, in Carry Optics Division. So, super excited about that. Please leave your comment below what you think about it. You know, is it for you? Is it not you? Is it too flashy? Is it too crazy? If you've been following me for a long time, you know I don't like plain stuff. I like it kind of flashy. But I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on.